Title, CC Effer's Unwavering Stand, Upholding Canada's Legacy of Liberty and Leadership in Firearm Legislation. Skills Gap Trainer Comment. Great episode. Bravo to Rod, Tracy, and the dedicated team at the CCFR. The intensity of your advocacy and your disciplined work remind us of thoughts and images of Vimy Ridge, unyielding, courageous, patriotic, outnumbered, and tenacious in the intricate, multifaceted battlefield of Canadian firearm legislation. You've deciphered confounding policies like Bill C-21 with an exceptional level of precision. Unmasking poor professionalism in political class and hidden agendas such as covertly introduced amendments slipped in hundreds of pages after discussions had concluded. Your endeavors echo the integrity, honesty, authenticity, and capability that immigrants all over the world have been looking for in nations for generations. Immigrants have come to Canada, America, and Western Europe because of cultural icons and leaders such as you. Immigrants who have been escaping oppressive societies after the breakup of the Soviet Union have always admired the qualities of citizens in Western nations circa 1950 to 2015 and the associated philosophy of property when it comes to firearms property, housing property, and biological property, family, the three of which are intricately connected, compared to the oppressive Warsaw Pact countries and the Soviet Union. During those times, Western society represented the pinnacle of well-informed, well-respected, and well-educated cultural, technological, and politically developed environments where citizens had capital, security, authority, and respect from the MPs. Immigrants have been drawn to the sophisticated, timeless, eccentric, rational, humorous, free-spirited, creative, and evolved nature of our Western societies, which has been shaped in no small part by leaders like you. Rational, enlightened, evaluative, enthusiastic, professional, and passionate about public safety, sports, philosophy, legislation, technology, security, and business. You stand firm against any measures encroaching on citizens' rights, such as the gun freeze in Canada. The insightful leadership and security discourse you generate on the CCFR radio show is of global significance. There are not many locations left in the world that have something as valuable as a CCFR radio show. You are not merely preserving the tradition of empowering citizens, so you are preserving the last remaining heritage of Canada, but also promoting respect and authority for citizens in the 21st century. Your work mirrors the iconic cultural figures of the West's past that immigrants used as a beacon of the kind of adventure and life they can have in the West when making their decision to come here. Sylvester Stallone, Chuck Norris, Carl Sagan, Bill Clinton, Superman, Batman, A, who attracted millions to the West in its enlightened age of reason and air you continue to uphold and embody through your dedication at CCFR. Regardless of low-quality political interference that may risk clouding Canada's thoughtful approach to civilized and reasoned leadership, you safeguard our nation's appeal to those yearning for a society that respects its citizens and their rights. Rod Tracy, your contributions are invaluable. When you proclaim, we are the gun lobby, wear it as a batch of honor. Throughout history, the resolve of few has often triumphed over the might of many. CCFR Radio is the best example of this. Your resilience and courage are reminiscent of those at the Battle of Thermopylae. And in that battle, they had 300 Spartans, and you are just two heroes. At no time in history have two people resisted geopolitical giants and tyrants of nation states, with the exception of Jesus. That is how powerful the card you have is given that you are outnumbered in the same way. Against immense odds, you championed a cause of freedom for Canada. You are the character heroes of our challenging times, a dynamic duo with the power to withstand geopolitical giants. Without the CCFR, the respect and dignity of Canadian citizens could falter, with subsequent ripple effects on our economy. The more Canadians emulate your character, the brighter our economic prospects become. The economy is based on character, so thank you for showing Canadians what it means to have character and what it means to have virtue, and that we are in fact doing it in Canada. Thanks for guiding us towards a brighter future. From those who may not yet realize it, and on behalf of all Canadians who forget to appreciate your show, thank you.